Hi everyone, what is up? It is Sunsia here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about three different books that I read in the month of January. I am usually a very avid reader, but now I've had to restart my whole collection and this is where I started. I didn't really have much time or money to read more than three, so that's about it. The first book that I wanted to talk about is Dear Evan Hansen. I have been waiting forever to read this book. If you don't know, Dear Evan Hansen is currently a Broadway musical. I love the musical, so even if you don't like reading or even if you don't really like musicals, I would recommend watching the musical or I really like the soundtrack for it. It's super good. Now this book is basically about a boy named Evan. He's sort of a lonely outcast. He doesn't have many true friends. He has one who's more of a family friend if anything and the other boy doesn't really consider him his friend. He sees a therapist often and feels disconnected with his mother who is a busy nurse and kind of forgetful and not home all the time. He has a crush on a girl named Zoe and she happens to have a brother named Connor. Connor in a sense is very like Evan in that he's more of a loner and doesn't have many friends and you don't know much about him. I really liked this book and would probably give it a four out of five um, Evan is a really relatable character, except for in some parts he's pretty frustrating. I really liked that this book had a lot of discussions about mental health, health and emotional health, and I don't know, I just, I feel like a lot of kids can relate to it and maybe it's about stuff that no one really talks about with to other people. A lot, I also really like the message that basically, um, don't judge a book by its cover or you might not really know someone the way you think that you do. Um, people hide stuff up and they bottle it up or they have their side to the story that you will never hear. The message that's also in the book is like, you will be found, which I really love and I think it gives some hope to people or lets them know that they're not alone. So I really would recommend this book. I do give it a four stars out of five, but maybe that's just because I like the musical more. I don't really know why I like it more. I just, I really connect with the songs and the message overall. I just love it, but it's still a great book. The second book that I read this month was What If It's Us by Becky O. Oh my God, how do you say her name? Um, Becky L. Bertel, Burley, and Adam Sil Silvera. Okay, I definitely butchered that. This book is about two high schoolers in New York. Um, the two main characters are Ar Arthur and Ben. Arthur is there on a summer internship and Ben lives locally in New York. So they both meet at a post office, but then are split up and then the search to find each other is on. Right away, Arthur feels a connection with Ben, but Ben is just kind of recovering from a breakup and that is basically how it starts. Arthur searches for him all across New York and it's basically just a hunt to find each other. He's a big believer in the universe and that the universe will push them to meet certain people. While on the other hand, Ben is kind of negative and thinks the universe is good for now. I give this book a 4 out of 5. I thought that it was really good and I like um, the inclusiveness of different characters involved and um, I like the diversity of having a gay book rather than just the same old um, straight couple book over and over again if you know what I mean. The only reason I knocked down a star is that it was just okay to me, like I liked it, I really did, um, but I don't think it's much anything special and it's just you know a young adult romance book but it's still really good and i saved my favorite book for last notes from my captivity by kathy parks if you cannot see it um it is a cute little cover i love the cover i think that this book was my by far favorite this month and honestly i don't know why i really love it it's one of my most favorite books now so this book is about a young girl in high school named adrian and she lives with her mother, stepfather, and stepbrother. Her, her um, actual dad is no longer in the picture. So her stepdad is a journalist and she is also very interested in journalism. 
Her stepdad is obsessed with this family of Russians that basically um, left like the normal life to go live out in the woods and he says that they're out there and that they are alive. However, he strongly believes in them but doesn't have like really valid solid proof of this claim and has never actually seen the family himself. Basically, there is another journalist who debunked his whole theory about the family and now he has to go to Russia to try and find the family to save his job. Adrian really wants to go with him and because she's a journalist and she's really interested in the adventure, they have three other Russians going with them on the trip and it is such an interesting story. I would say this is a spoiler, but it says it in like the dust jacket of mine. Um, I mean, basically, um, she gets captured by this family and has to figure out a way out. I just would give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I was so immersed in it and I just loved the adventure and you didn't know what was going to happen next. It also really made you think about the world around you and the way you perceive things and you perceive other people. And it was just really thought provoking and I just felt caught up in it. I usually like to read books in about like two days, but this one I had to read right away. I like read it in one day and I did it any chance I could. It was so good. I just felt like really caught up in the adventure and like the characters and just everything about it. And the ending was like, oh my god, I, like, I mean, I really like the ending, but it just like killed me. So I don't know. <laughs> I really recommend this book. So yes, these are the three books that I read in January and I would recommend them all. I really liked all of them, but especially Nose for My Captivity. That was my favorite one, so. And ranked wise, this would be my favorite, then Dear Evan Hansen, and then What If It's Us. But overall, they were all really good and I felt immersed in all the stories. So thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Thanks for watching, bye.